Evening everybody, how are you all doing? It's Dan here from the tool room, thank you again for joining me. Now guys, I wanted to do another video about this Klein 11-in-1 uh, multi-screwdriver, okay? Because it seems I've caused quite a bit of offence. Now I'll just go over the way this works again. You pull the... How do you... You pull this thing out of... Oh, it's gone stiff. Ah, oh, Klein, honestly. Well, it's got this nice rubberized handle here and... Um, and then it's got, oh, I, I don't know what it's in. Uh, um, yeah, oh, these Klein tools, honestly. Ah, you know what I've done? <laughs> I've got confused, sorry. Um, I just picked up a, a similar screwdriver. This this is my, this is a 199 screwdriver that came from some corner of the road shop that no one's ever heard of. Um, sorry, guys, my mistake. Um, this is the Klein 11 in one screwdriver. Oh dear. I do get confused sometimes. I do get confused sometimes. I see this one, this one pulls out. There you go. It's just these ones are so similar in quality and everything that I just got confused. And oh, yeah. <laughs> now that is how you tick off the Americans. That is how you annoy everyone. Okay, guys, how are you doing? How are you doing? Right. I don't really think this is the same quality as this. It was a joke, okay? I just like to wind people up. And clearly, my last video on this Klein screwdriver really wound people up by saying and suggesting that this one was a far better screwdriver. Now, there is one particular subscriber, and he has mentioned me on his videos on his new tool channel. Um, and he uh, mentioned me as someone who shall not be named. So I'm going to do him the same courtesy. One subscriber who shall not be named, but he knows who he is. Okay. And yes, I do know who I am. He has uh, mocked me quite a bit on this, saying that, um, well, to be fair, he does say he enjoyed my tool channel, so he's not rude or anything. And I will say I enjoy your videos too. I find them very amusing, especially the ones where you mock me. I do find it amusing and my ability, I am proud of my ability to take a joke. However... I do feel I do need to stick up for myself a little bit here, and I'm going to address some of the issues which were raised. Okay. Firstly, that these screwdrivers are not comparable. The only thing similarity about these is that they are both screwdrivers. Well, I would disagree. These are both multi-bit screwdrivers produced by leading manufacturers. They are also very popular versions of multi-bit screwdrivers. I'd say perhaps the most popular versions from their respective manufacturers. Now, yes, the Weary uses this sort of principle, and the Klein has a pull-out system to change the bits, but again, they are different bit screwdrivers, okay? And the Weary is ratcheting, and this one isn't, but that doesn't matter because the non wire ratcheting Weary looks very similar to this Weary, so it would still be the competitor. The ratcheting Klein looks very similar to this Klein, so it would be a competitor to this one. Now, Klein do do a version that does that. I've never seen it before a subscriber showed me, and it's not a very popular one because I haven't seen many videos that feature it. It's normally this one's the most popular one for Klein, and this one is one of the most popular ones for Weira. That's why I compared them. Does that clear that up? Am I being fair? Okay, but I will remind us that this is a far cheaper screwdriver than this one. So it's a win there for Klein, okay? Now let's take this one out of the picture, okay? Right, the second address concern was that this end bit fell out. And my uh, my dear subscriber said to me, well, it doesn't fall out. It's really hard to pull out. I find it really hard to pull out with one hand. Well, if I just pinch this gently with fingers, out it comes. Okay, out it comes. No issues whatsoever. So hopefully I've proved that that just does pull out dead easy and has no issue. Whereas the Vera one is magnetized. Okay, so you can see by the hopefully the way my fingers see feel the tent now you see see watch my fingers tense up there yeah see that comes out far easier than watch my fingers tense up here than that okay so that <laughs> this one comes out far easier okay so that's my concern and when i'm using it, it has come out, it has come out okay now i don't want to dislike this screwdriver i bought this with my own money because i heard it was really good and i wanted one Okay, I said I want one of those Klein 11 in ones. The second concern was 
that I couldn't get them with the more European bits in it, aka the posi drive. Now I'll show you that, um, what, what I mean by a posi drive, let's just get one out of this, which does come with the bits in it. This is a posi drive, okay? So that there is a posi drive. You see the spleen down the middle of the diamond there? Now that's the more common screw we get in the UK, okay? Now, yes, okay, I can get some bits and posi drives to put in this, but I would have to buy the one like that because these ones, as you see, don't fit in it, and those are the ones I've got. So I would have to go out and buy some more bits in order to get the bits I want. Now, it was said that this is an American tool, so why should it cater for the European market or the British market? Because it's sold in the British and European market also. So you'd think instead of giving us things like Robertson's, like this, which we don't have at all, they'd give us some posi drives. It's not an expensive thing to do. Klein will already make them because they do them in the screwdrivers they do make specifically for Europe. Okay? So that's all I was saying. I'm not saying you can't get them. It was just a little pointer to say, well, it would be nice as a British buyer if we got the posi drive bits and... These are tool reviews, you know, these are for people who want to buy tools and want to know what a tool's like, you know. If I want to buy a tool, I'll go and look for a video just like this, it'll tell me all the tools like. And if you live in Britain or you live in Europe, it is worth note that if you do buy this, you're going to have to buy or have some posi drive screwdriver bits. Okay, that's it. That's what I was saying. So, is that a fair comment? Okay, I didn't say it was difficult, it, it fell out this end. Okay, I didn't say that end fell out, that's fine. I didn't say this bit fell out, that's fine. It's the ends themselves that fall out, just to clarify that. Okay, and they do. Now, let's get on to the gluey part. He showed his screwdriver, which wasn't quite the same as this, but given it was a very similar one, it was the 11 in one, but it was the magnetic version of this. Okay, so um, if there's any doubt as to who you are, um, you also did four videos where you really stuck up for this screwdriver. Four four videos <laughs> i think you really like them although they did amuse me so i don't mind you can see in here okay look at all that dried in glue okay look at all that i'm showing you this now i'm not making it up lots of dried in glue there okay it's not what you'd expect from a premium high level screwdriver okay it's not what you'd expect i was also told that the peel doesn't peel back at all you know i can't even move it he said oh it'll be a screwdriver well look at this it all peels back, as you can see, moves off it, and I can do it with one little finger, dead easy, just peel it all back, and I'm pretty sure if I put a little bit of effort into it, I could slide this straight off, okay? As opposed to striking the end of it, I haven't been doing that, I've got no issues with the striking cap, as you can see, it's still perfect, I haven't had to do with a hammer or anything, okay? So, you can see, hopefully, that my, my concerns with this screwdriver were legit, I've got loads of Klein tools. I mean, look at my tool bags. I've got Klein, I've spent a fortune on Klein tool bags. And I've got absolutely loads of Klein tools. And for the vast majority of them, I love them. They're great. Great tools. This one, though, is just one that everyone made such a fuss about. It's the best tool ever. And I just have not found that. However, I think I found why. Now, this is a very similar looking screwdriver, isn't it? It's not a multi-bit one. But this is a Klein tools screwdriver of a very similar design this is the um this is a thousand volt rated one okay now look at this compared to this no glue marks in there okay none at all i know what you mean i cannot peel back this rubber here it's absolutely solid you can get these in posi drives if you know where to look they're not as easy to get but you can get them in posi drives and it's a really solid well made screwdriver this is as good as this okay in my opinion this is a good screwdriver but it is infinitely better made than that okay even though it looks very similar you'd think it's the same it's not okay and i think it's all down to do with this here this little badge here made in the usa okay this one on the pack it doesn't say made in the usa but on the packaging it said assembled in the usa now, I noticed my subscriber's screwdriver he had did say made in the USA on it. So maybe there is a big quality difference between this one and this one. Maybe they make lower budget ones, which they ship into Europe and things. Now, I was then told, well, maybe if you're having these kind of issues with this, you've got some cheap knockoff from China. 
Okay, so I thought, okay, well, I hope I haven't because, you know, I paid a decent price for it. So I hope it's not a cheap knockoff from China. So I got in contact with Amazon where I purchased this from. And I said, look, I've been having some problems with this screwdriver. I said, the ends are falling out. There's lots of cheap glue all in there. The handle peels off. And, um, you know, I've got concerns. It's not a genuine screwdriver, to be honest. So what is going on? So Amazon said, rest assured, you know, terribly sorry to hear this that's really bad this obviously doesn't represent the quality of the brand or what amazon would do and they did inform me this is an amazon's own product you do get knockoff brands on amazon but um they're sort of made by third parties usually but this is a genuine amazon product and they can guarantee and verify its authenticity so this is made by klein but if it is made by klein it's not made by klein as well as this is made by klein okay and these were very expensive. I will say these were 44 quid for two of these screwdrivers, okay? They're really expensive screwdrivers. This one was about uh, £17.50. So there was a big difference in the price. But this is a multi-tool as well, which, you know, should make it more expensive. But it doesn't, although this is insulated, okay? So I hope you see I'm giving this a fair go here, guys, okay? Now, I will say, I didn't think much of it when I bought it. And I thought, well, why does everyone rave about this too much? And I thought, well... Maybe Americans are just kind of happy to settle for lower quality and they're, they're more than happy with that and they like that. And before you attack me on that, before you think, oh, that's that's really bad, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's great. I mean, you, you seem to say, well, if your tools are made in America, then great. We love them. We don't care what quality they are. And, you know, you can understand why I'm saying that, guys. Any American viewers now, I don't mean to annoy you or anything like that. Or, and I don't want to lose your subscriptions. I appreciate you all. Even my critic. <laughs> but look at your cars. I mean, an Escalade compared to a Range Rover. I mean, I've seen the inside of an Escalade. The frigid, the, 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 the buttons look like they came out of some kind of cheap fridge from Taiwan. I mean, compared to a Range Rover, it's just like, what? And it costs just as much. But you guys love them and you're happy with them. So and that's great. You know, it's, it's good. If, you, if you're patriotic and proud of what's made in your country, then, you know, it's good for you. But um, I just kind of assumed you were you were happy with, you know, with the quality of this, even though it was a far lower quality than this. But I like to keep my subscribers happy and I don't like to offend anyone. So I contacted Amazon and I want to give this screwdriver another go. OK. And they've agreed to send me another screwdriver out. And I will return this one, they've said, once the new one comes out. So it's Sunday today, and the new screwdriver is due to land with me on Tuesday. Now, I hope you've seen that I have backed up the reasons why I, I, I've i not liked this screwdriver. And I've said the Vera one is better, okay? I hope you've seen Now, just to show you another little thing there. The metal on this, you can see, only goes to about... Um, that point there now can you see on the camera just where the metal ends there can you just see the the line in the shaft there where you can see it's just the plastic inside that's a very very thin plastic back there then into this handle okay now i'm sorry it just is the vera's is a heck of a lot thicker it's got a little rim there and then it goes into thick plastic back there and it's got really really thick plastic there you can see okay you can't see past the rim I'm sorry but it does go thicker the plastic is thicker back there okay this is very very thin and i'm sorry guys this screwdriver here this one i've got in my hand that came from amazon is nowhere near as good a quality as this vera one you may in america have different ones which are more like this quality which are just as good as that okay maybe even slightly better maybe okay um you know if i if i give it a comparable if i give it something to compare it to well i'll just pull this out because it's closer but this is twice the size, I'd admit. So let's just let's just get one that's uh, a bit smaller, shall we? Right, here you go, guys. Number two Phillips. Move up, move up, shovel up, move on, move on. Number two Phillips. Okay, number two Phillips Vera, number two Phillips Klein. Insulated screwdrivers, they are com they are direct competitors to each other. Okay, this I'd say is a better quality screwdriver than that. Okay, it is. However, it goes the opposite way this time. This one is also much, much more expensive than that. Okay. This would probably cost me about six or seven pounds for this screwdriver. This was 22. I got it half price, admittedly, but right price, this is 22. Right price, six or seven pounds. And this is our import problem with, with Klein, as I've, as I've mentioned before. 
Okay, so I hope you think now, I hope I've justified myself. I hope my subscriber isn't quite so cross about my review with this screwdriver because this man really likes his 11 in 1 screwdrivers, okay? Um, and I will say, mate, I do really like your channel, it amuses me. You swear too much. You are you have got a bit of a potty mouth, I'll give you that. <laughs> but you know, I like your channel, it makes me smile and amuses me, and you know, good luck with it. And um, you know, I hope you get loads and loads of subscribers, mate. Best luck to you, honestly. You know you are, you know I'm talking to. So this is all meant in this is all meant in good humour, you know. It's not it's not a warrior or anything and it's not meant to offend anyone. And I know you haven't meant to offend me in any way and you haven't, so it's all good. It's all good fun. It's all good fun. Um, and that's the way it's meant to be taken. But yeah, so, but I hope I have proven to you, sir, that this is not the quality of perhaps your screwdriver or of uh, you other American Sparky screwdrivers, okay? It's not the same thing. Um, and that's why I don't like it as much as I like this, okay? So we'll see what the new one's like. Now, the new one's picture that's come says made in the USA along there. So maybe that's going to make all the difference. We'll have a look. Okay, so I'm really interested. I, I hope it's not exactly the same one as this comes back. And I hope it's one that's more like this. But it remains to be seen. Um, if not, I might have to consider getting one from the US. If anyone wants to send me one. <laughs> um, have you got one you don't use? Or even if it's broken, guys, you know, just so I can see the quality of it, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, I do have a Dropbox that I can um, that I can have it sent to for... Um, um, I've got um, I've got a, an address for this setup for this actual um, tool channel where I can receive products. Um, so yeah, hopefully um, we can get uh, you might be able to send one to me, but we'll see what this is like first. Um, I'll pay the postage obviously, but if you got one you don't want and you want to send me one of these just to, so I can compare the quality, that's if the one I get on Tuesday is again sub quality. Then perhaps we can uh, perhaps we can get some light shed on this subject and why you guys love this so much and why I thought it was just garbage, um, quite frankly. So here we go, guys. I hope I back myself up here. I hope you can see it's fair that this does come out really easily. That there is lots of melty glue along there and that this does peel back very easily, as you can see. Okay. Um, you can see I wasn't fibbing or just trying to get to anyone. I am neither I am neither German, I am not American, I have no they're both my tools. I've paid money, good money for both of them. I have no agenda or you know affiliation to either one. They've not been sent to me. You know, neither am I pay for all my tools. I mean I've only got like two hundred odd subscribers at the moment, guys, so let's be fair, no one's sending me tools at the moment apart from our Meg that have given me a couple. So there we go. So we got the Vera in first place. We got the which one comes second? Um, all right, all right. The client comes second, okay, and then, and then we have the fix it coming in in third. Okay, it's close. It's close. It's very very similar projects products. I'm joking. I'm joking. Okay, it's joke. Joke. This is junk. Okay, this. okay. So let's look forward to Tuesday. We'll see what happens. Please, guys, like and subscribe. I um, hope you've enjoyed these videos. I hope you find them entertaining. Um, if you do do this, I've seen a couple of dislikes. Now, I don't mind dislikes. I don't mind dislikes. But come on, don't be sneaky Charlies, okay? Don't just stick a dislike and a thumbs down on it. If you're going to take the time to do that, just tell me why. I can't improve these videos if you if you just dislike it and don't tell me why. Come on, guys, just put just put. I'm not going to take offence, but just tell me why, because I genuinely want to make these videos good. I genuinely want to make them, you know, good. And you know, tools channels, you know, they they look at videos like this. Okay, they do watch videos like this. So tool manufacturers, sorry, not tool channels, tool manufacturers. So if you love these products and you want the tool manufacturers to improve these products for you. If you don't like the product or whatever, then say why you don't like them. Um, fair play, the same subscriber who was uh, who loves this um, lemon in one. I noticed he he put why he didn't like my Klein rucksack, and that's fine. He he said it it flops over, it does, it does flop over. So that's either something you're gonna like or not like. So you know there was a reason for it, which is great, and it's interesting to hear these. And two manufacturers, they watch, they may not watch mine because it's not that big yet, but. They do watch these kinds of videos, okay? And, you know, they, they take these things on board. It's personal to them if you don't like their tools. You're the punters, you're the guys who buy it. So it helps improve what we like, and it helps them to bring out new products, which we'll prefer, perhaps. So like and subscribe, please, guys. Leave comments, positive or ne negative, but say bye, okay? And um, I will uh, catch you on the next one. Hit the bell icon to get uh, notifications when the videos come up. 
and um, have a great evening guys um, hope you've had a really good new year and I will see you on Tuesday for the next video and the deciding factor on is this Klein tool as bad as I think it is or am I totally wrong have I just got a duff okay night guys have a good one